Hi, I'm Deacon Connie, and this is All Saints Faith Formation for Families Church School Class for the fifth Sunday of Lent, which is March 21st. Well, let's begin our class with our class prayer. Have it right here so we can pray it together. All right, so let us pray. Good morning, dear Jesus, this day is for you. I ask you to bless all I think, say, and do. Amen. Next, let's get out our tambourines, maracas, clap your hands as we sing. So the song I chose today is This Is The Day. All right. So let me get my papers. Okay, here we go. So let's sing it together. All right. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day, this is the day all the world is new, all the world is new. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day all the world is new. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day all the world is new. Um, um. Okay, great. Very excellent. Well, today I have some things, of course, to show you. Um, I have here some paper clips and a big screw and a little screw. I have some staples here. And I also have a magnet. So let's see. Let's see if we can do this. This is difficult because I can't move the camera. So I have the staples in my hand. So let's see what happens. Woohoo! Look at that. It grabbed the staples. Okay. Now, what about the little screw? Let me put it in my hand like that. Let's see what happens. Okay, it got it. We'll leave it there. And now I have the big screw in my hand, and let's see what happens with the big screw. Oh, so now we have the two screws. Very good. And let's put some paper clips in my hand. Let's see if we can get them all on. Ready? Oh, look at that. And number three, we have the, uh, the screws and the paper clips. And let's see if I can get on the staples. Oh, 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 we got it. All right, so we have everybody is on the magnet. Now, I did some research, probably, you know, you've learned about magnets in school. So I found a definition of a magnet. Um, it says a magnet is a material or object that produces a magnetic field. This magnetic field is invisible, but it is responsible for the most no notable property of a magnet, a force that pulls on other ferromagnetic materials such as iron, steel, nickel, cobalt, and attracts or repels other magnets. So there you go. We have our magnet attracting all of these materials that are made out of materials that magnets can attract. 
right? I also looked up just for fun, and you can do more research on magnets if this is something that interests you. Um, what are magnets used for um, on credit cards and debit cards? There's a strip with, that encodes the information um, to contact the individual's financial institution. Uh, in hospitals, they're used. They're called MRI. People go in for MRI tests. So the big name for that is magnetic resonance imaging to spot problems in patients' organs and for their body without having to have invasive surgery. So there's a whole list of what magnets are used for. One of my favorite um, uses for a magnet is for refrigerator magnets. So I brought a sample of one here. I collect these. So when I go on vacation, um, like here we went to London and England, I get a refrigerator magnet. See, it has the magnet on the back and um, it goes right on my refrigerator. Okay, so if you came to my house, you would see all the places that I've been to. So the drawing pack, um, uh, the drawing power of this magnet reminds me of something that Jesus taught about himself. Now we find this in St. John's Gospel in chapter 12, which is assigned for today. <clears throat> so the way it goes is the people who were following Jesus didn't understand why Jesus had come to earth. They thought that he had come to set up an earthly kingdom. But Jesus didn't come to build up an earthly kingdom. His kingdom is in heaven. But Jesus came to die on the cross for our sins so that we could join him in his heavenly kingdom. <clears throat> Jesus knew that the day of his crucifixion and return to earth was near. So he spoke to his followers. He said, I am very troubled. What should I do? Should I pray to the father and ask him to save me? No, this is the very reason that I came. And when I am lifted up, I will draw everyone to myself. The Bible tells us that he told them that he told him that so that he would know how he was going to die. The drawing power of this magnet is very strong, right? We saw it. it it's holding on this little magnets holding on to all of these different objects. But this is nothing compared to the drawing power of Jesus. He willingly died on the cross to pay the price for our sin. When we see his great love, we are drawn to him. Even after we become God's children, there may be times when we stray from his teaching and do things that we know are not pleasing to him. Does Jesus stop loving us then? No. His love for us is so strong that he draws us back into what he wants us to do. There is no power stronger than the love of Jesus. He was lifted up on the cross so that everyone would be drawn to him. And everyone includes you and me. So let us close with a prayer. Father God, we thank you that Jesus was willing to be lifted up on the cross of Calvary so that we might have eternal life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a good week, and we'll see you the next time.